Fernando Alonso has finally made the announcement of staying on with McLaren. The right choice and the obvious choice and a no-brainer for the Spaniard. Yes, of course, it's been a few weeks since we've been waiting for that announcement. But just before the Austin Grand Prix takes place this weekend, the Spaniard has made sure that the press and for us fans that we know where he's going to be in 2018. And thank goodness, really, because I can't imagine Formula One without Fernando Alonso. I mean, he's been in the sport for over 10 years now, probably nearly 15 years. I'm not sure from the top of my head, but he's certainly been there for, it feels like a lifetime. But the guy, you know, he still, in my eyes, has something to prove. It's been over 10 years since he last won the World Championship. But let's not forget, I think the reason why he mainly wanted to stay next year was mainly because of F1, but because who the engine supplier for McLaren will be in 2018, and that is Renault. And, of course, who won the World Championship in 2006 with a Renault? Fernando Alonso, his last one. Um, but, of course, there's, there's a lot of rumours that this could be the car that McLaren have been looking for since 2012. And the last win was in 2012 with Brazil, the last Grand Prix of that season. And it's been so long now. It's been nearly five years since that last win and McLaren winning a race just sounds remarkable right now but from what I've been talking from the people I've been talking to uh, it is especially Karen Chandok who shared with us on the pole position podcast that he thinks McLaren Renault can win races in 2018 which would be a superb start with their partnership after a dreadful period we had of McLaren Honda uh, but as I mentioned before, it was a no-brainer for uh, Fernando Alonso when there's no seats left at Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari. Those are the only teams who could possibly have afforded his wages. It is believed he makes $40 million a year just at McLaren alone, and that is without having to even win a race. That's an amazing contract, and many F1 drivers could only dream of a contract like that. But, you know, it's it could be his final season, so 2018 could be the one to make the most out of it. But, of course, next year, it also means that we shall see Alonso at the Mans 24 and, of course, the IndyCar 500, which, of course, is the two big races he still wants to win. And McLaren can provide the cars for him for that. And hopefully, if there's no problems with the engine next year, which is Renault, of course, then maybe he'll go in to win Indy 500 at least because he was superb throughout that whole race. And then the Honda haunted him as he thought he escaped from F1 for a weekend. But no, Fernando Alonso is back. What is your thoughts? Is it the right choice? Should he have gone somewhere else? Let us know on the comments below. Uh, make sure you share, subscribe uh, to the Let's Talk Sport channel um, and uh, stay tuned for more.